Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. What is LICA? LICA makes your entire compliance process simple. LICA goes beyond integrations. Their platform connects to your everyday applications and applies actual human expertise to robust software that powers your compliance. LICA easily connects to your applications and instantly creates tailored policies based on your business. Then, it Compliance experts guide you through automated workflows designed to help you conquer certifications like SOC 2, HIPAA, and GDPR. Like as the only compliance platform that offers a true integrated audit solution. No more sp- messy spreadsheets, miscellaneous audit documents. Their team of experts manages your audit from beginning to end. Like as more than just one solution, it maintains 100% confidence in your compliance program with custom monitors and alerts. As the compliance evangelist, I certainly understand the complexities around compliance, particularly around SOC 2, HIPAA, and GDPR. It's hard to unpack requirements when you may not know what they are within your budget and your growth stage. Leica is the solution for you. Listeners to this podcast get 20% off when you join. Visit heylica.com slash compliance to get their exclusive deal. That's H-E-Y-L-A-I-K-A dot com slash compliance to request a demo and get 20% off when you sign up with Leica. The Daily Compliance News for November 18, 2021 the FTC Investigates edition. And we begin with that story as the Biden administration will be investigating the um, energy companies uh, to consider whether illegal conduct by large oil and gas companies is pushing up gasoline prices for American consumers. Uh, This is the latest effort by the administration to target concentration in the energy industry in a big bid to bring prices down. Interestingly, this action was uh, initiated by President Biden, and it will be led to the, uh, by rather, the FTC, as uh, it will spur the commission to open an investigation to 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 gather data on how companies set gasoline prices. So interesting that the FTC will uh, take a look at this. And that article came to us from the uh, Wall Street Journal. Next up from the Houston Chronicle, uh, Houston attorney Tony Busby has filed a $750 million lawsuit over the Astroworld Festival tragedy. Obviously, litigation occurs whenever you have a tragedy, but uh, $750 million, uh, that's a real number and that's real dollars. And uh, I doubt... eh, all of the participants have enough insurance to cover that. So uh, when Tony Busby is on you, you better uh, watch out because he is prepared and his firm are very good lawyers. So it's going to be interesting to see, um, as Busby said, uh, how many corporations stood to profit from uh, this deal in Astroworld and how many he can bring into the litigation. Uh, Next up, from um, Reuters, Aluma. Illumina has defended the Grail deal, but it expects formal EU objections um, on this. So with the EU anti-competitive forces roiling, it's going to be interesting to see what they will do um, to Illumina. And finally, we have yet another uh, guilty plea coming out of the Odebrecht case. This time, (coughs) excuse me, it's the former son or son of former Panamanian president who plans to plead guilty in the Odebrecht bribery case. He appeared in federal court and said he would plead guilty to taking part in the bribery scheme. 
His appearance uh, followed what prosecutors said was an extraordinary effort to evade prosecution in the U.S. by means of a fugitive, furtive border crossing and a boat ride to Panama. However, he was extradited to the United States on Monday from Gua- Guatemala, where he was detained along with his brother, whose extradition is pending. So yet another guilty plea from the Odebrecht case, and the corruption is uh, spreading north. Uh, it went from Brazil up to northern South America, and now it moves to Central America. Apparently there was no end to the Odebrecht corruption, as here we are five years later still guilting, getting guilty pleas. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com. <laughs>